Knowledge Bomb episode 471, the GHD setup. All right, so the GHD setup is not something I do a lot, but I do like to incorporate from time to time. When I learned this actually at my CrossFit level one certification at Reebok years ago, these motherfuckers was in here going crazy, like all the way down, tapping, coming up, and they were going like furious. But they also said it gave them a bunch of motherfuckers rhabdo before because of the stretch in the fucking strength that it takes to do it how you see your favorite big time crossfitter. What I'm gonna tell you is this is probably similar to how you do a straight leg lift with weight. You should take your time, get a good rep. You can get some rebound when you get stronger. The key is gonna be have a slight bend in your knee, come all the way down, tap the floor, and then all the way back up. But what I'd be careful of is herking and jerking. Whoa, too much because you can strain your lower abs because all the way deep like that, you're definitely in a compromised position. Now, it'll definitely get your lower abs stronger. It, it's a definitely a good stretch for your pelvis. It actually allows you to arch the opposite way too, which kind of opens up some stuff. But the reality is, is that this is, I think, something for most people that's three sets of 12 to 15, probably not like a 50 rep violent type of action until you're at a higher advanced level. So I would check the GHD setup as an alternative to a knee up or a straight leg with weight or alongside them to build up some crazy strong ab power. Knowledge Bomb 471, boom.